Maersk says revenue is improving across the business, prompting the world's largest container shipping company to raise the lower end of its forecast for profit. In its third quarter result, the Copenhagen-based firm said that EBITDA, or operating profit, will reach somewhere between $3.6 and $4 billion, compared with an earlier estimate for $3.5 to $4.2 billion. On the phone now from Copenhagen is the CEO of uh, AP Molar Mayor Soren Sko. Soren, thanks for joining us. Um, how is it that you're able to raise your profit forecast and revenue is improving in a world uh, increasingly beset by trade restrictions? Well, we, we have seen a quarter where freight rates have uh, have gone up more uh, more than five uh, percent. Uh, uh, so so that is a, that's a positive driver. But we're also seeing uh, you know good good mar margin uh, progression in our other businesses, particularly in logistics and and in our ports uh, business. So so uh, right now, container container market the, the global trade uh, is is growing at a reasonable pace uh, and 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 and. and and container freight rates are, are going up. So both in terms of, good morning to you, Soren, both in terms of volumes and in terms of rates, though, is this just the sun before the storm? Is this just a, a race to get ahead of tariffs and that's what's driving the positivity? What's your worst fear from here? So in the in the Pacific trade, so from China to the U.S., clearly there's some of that going up, uh, going on. Uh, imports to the U.S. Uh, are strong. Uh, we see our customers, uh, you know, most most likely they are building up inventories in the U.S. ahead of uh, any tariff increases that may hit in the in the new year, and and obviously there will be a bill to be paid for that, so to speak, uh, when 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 that movement comes to to an end, with with lower uh, demand growth on the ocean. Uh, in, this, in the first quarter next year, uh, but we are we are prepared for that. But overall, the overall picture for for the global trade is is one of uh, you know slow but reasonable growth at the same time very moderate uh, uh, growth in in capacity. Uh, so a slightly narrowing of the of the supply demand balance, and that that leads to 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 a slightly higher freight rates, which is uh, of course very positive for the for the industry. I want to ask you a question about uh, products that you need to buy, Soren, in order to ship all this stuff around the world, and that is fuel. Where are you getting your fuel, and are your needs for fuel increasing or, or decreasing? So, so we we uh, we we work very diligently uh, with our uh, with our uh, fuel consumption, our fuel efficiency, and and we are able to slowly but surely reduce the amount of fuel that we use per container by by deploying technology, by being better at the way we drive the ships and and, and so on. Uh, but 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 overall, as we have volume growth, we are also seeing uh, you know a slow increase in the demand for fuel. We have plenty of fuel uh, capacity available from the global refineries uh, so so it's it's not like we're going to run out of uh, uh, fuel uh, anytime soon can you update us on your divestments finally soren uh, i know that uh, you're going to spin off your drilling business in 2019 has recent market volatility certainly in october given you pause for thoughts update us on the time horizon here so, so the company is uh, is pretty much ready to stand on its own feet. We have uh, confirmed the management. We have, uh, uh, you know, the company has been funded. We are ready to draw down the debt. And from 1st of January, the company will operate as a standalone business, but still, of course, owned by us. And then we will list the company uh, during 2019. We are not planning to uh, raise any capital. So we will basically demerge the company, uh, list it, uh, and, and hand the shares to our shareholders. And that means that we are not so much relying on the market as such. Uh, and assuming just a reasonable, normal uh, uh, market, then, then this will happen in 2019.